Hello and welcome to Chengdu.org. In this series of videos, we are looking at advanced pivot table tricks. This specific video will deal with layout related tricks. There are many different things that you could do with pivot table layout so that it looks more like a professionally formatted report or a report that you could reuse in some other calculations upstream. Let's go ahead and play with pivot tables so that you can explore uh, these ideas. Here is some sample data. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to use a one data set, one table data set for making a pivot. So as you could see, there is a month, salesman, region, product columns. So these are the text columns or the de uh, detail columns. And then there are some numbers that we would like to summarize. Let's go and make a pivot table. I will insert this into a blank worksheet. And here, um, let's take a look at salesman by region and then um, net sales. So naturally, you would get a, a layout like this. This is called a compact layout. And uh, here, uh, you would have both salesman and region in the same column. Now the simplest trick here is if you don't like this layout because this layout while it does provide the information it kind of shrinks both salesman and region into a single column which makes it hard to read sometimes. Uh, you can change the report layout and go into a tabular or an outline format and when you go into tabular format you will get a couple of columns same with outline format as well. And from here you can also choose a repeat all label option so that you can get the same labels in in the blank cells this is an extremely useful format uh, so that's the first uh, layout trick now let's go ahead and copy this pivot table and uh, paste it here this way we don't have to recreate the pivot from scratch mm, now i will um, get rid of region so we are only looking at salesman and then let's add uh, number of customers and profit loss so we are now looking at these three details net sales customer total and then profit loss total for each of the salespersons. now naturally when you put multiple items into the values they would go into different columns but uh, looking at this here in the columns area now it is showing that in each column i'm showing values uh, do you know that you can actually move this right you can just drag and drop anywhere for example if you drop it underneath salesman then you will get this kind of a weird layout where salesperson and then their corresponding three numbers are shown in the same column. What happens if you move it above? Uh, you will get a different layout like some of net sales and then this information for all the four salespersons, some of customers for all the four salespersons and some of profit loss for all the four customers four people and finally you can also move the salesman there and then you will get this kind of a layout so depending on what is the purpose of the pivot table where it would be used sometimes you may use pivot table directly as an output in other situations you may use this as part of a grand calculation scheme so that means none of these values are directly going to be presented but this calculation will be used as part of an elaborate dashboard or or an output and they feed into that so depending on what that is you can kind of move these around and and rearrange them okay so that's another technique let's go ahead and copy paste the pivot once again i hope my thing is still there yeah and uh, now let's uh, take a look at uh, another complicated layout technique um, let's say you have salesman and region like this and then you can add uh, profit loss as well so now we are seeing uh, net sales profit loss net sales profit loss net sales profit loss for each salesperson in each region right this uh, while this works sometimes you may want to just see all the net sales in one place and all the profit loss information on the other side to do that kind of an arrangement all you have to do is take the values in the columns area and move it above the region so this is another technique and this way you will get all the net sales in one side and then all the profit loss in another side of the pivot table this kind of a technique can be applied both on row level or column level side again the same idea as previous appears which is i can take this and move it beneath this or i can put it above and create different 
types of uh, layouts depending on what my end need is so that is uh, uh, how you can use the layout techniques to uh, to work with the uh, pivot tables let's uh, try something where there would be a chance of subtotals i'll copy paste the pivot again um, this time uh, we do have subtotals and uh, let's add a few more things here uh, so that there are a lot of subtotals going on now if you are looking at all of this you might say oh these subtotals are are interesting and they provide the what is happening by individual salesman level but what if you also add maybe product now you have uh, subtotals at different levels i'll just expand these columns so we can see um, everything so we have now at individual salesperson by product level what is the subtotal and then at a total salesperson level what is the subtotal uh, let's say for the argument sake you don't care much about the individual product level subtotals you only want subtotal at salesperson level so for example if you go to design and subtotals so do not show then all the subtotals are gone but what we really want here is a selective subtotals that means subtotal only for a certain level of the report so to do that what you will need to do is you would have to select the field that uh, that you want to disable the subtotal so in this case product and then go to um, pivot table analyze ribbon and then click on field settings this will open up the settings for the product uh, field and from here um, you you have the option to have automatic subtotals none uh, as an option and if you say none then the subtotals are gone while we are there you can also examine that there is an option to change the nature of subtotal so rather than uh, for example let's go to salesman level here we are looking at sum of sales but at a salesman level i want to just show the average i can do that i can say uh, for the salesman level instead of using the same logic as the individual field show me the average and that would show a different number now some of these numbers can be extremely confusing depending on what you are presenting so be mindful and uh, um, and present the results correctly uh, but this does offer you an additional thing so that's how you can get rid of uh, the subtotals that you don't need or change the nature of subtotal by field level okay so i hope you found these layout techniques or tricks very useful um, and uh, i will check out i will talk to you again in another advanced pivot table tricks video thanks bye bye